thousand uh, over one thousand because and they have continued to um, because they have continued to go in for classes. Um, go in for while classes. Their counterparts, their colleagues, while who their are government sponsored, their colleagues have been on this two and government sponsor. But let us speak to um, a few of these students. Hello. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Are you a government-sponsored student here at Limcomku University? Yeah, I'm a government-sponsored student. What's your name? My name is Fenty Prince Kamara. What? Fenty Prince Kamara. Fenty Prince Kamara is one of those students among the government-sponsored lists at this Limcomku University of Creative Technology, the Malaysian-owned university here in Sierra Leone. It has existed since 2016 when they officially started operations here. How does it feel like coming back to campus in about two and a half years? Well, probably it feels boring, but uh, all the best. Um, there is an idea you say destiny can be delayed, but it will not change since the government have assured us to open also, and I'm very grateful for that. Even though it has been, it's been a while, that's a stagnation of our academic dreams, but uh, praise God to that. What's your area of study? Well, my area of study is broadcasting and journalism. Ah, well, that's great. Well, you'll be joining us shortly in the broadcast field. And do you feel relief now that you'll be ending your course and eventually get your, your degree? Yeah, I feel relief now. I'm very grateful to God for such. And I'm also sending these grateful thanks to uh, the running government for what they've done for us. Even though we've stayed for two and a half years, but I'm grateful for that. How many years in all is your degree called? Well, it's four years. Four years. And two years, two and a half years I've already added, so it's about six and a half years. Yeah, it's almost eight years now. Because the university started all 20, 2014, and the Ebola disease came, so it was stagnated until 2016 when it gets reopened, and we were also upheld in 2017. So it's almost eight years at just a degree course. It, it, it was it is heart rendering, but praise God for that. Like I always say, praise God because it's the destiny. God has His own way of doing things. All right, thank you very much for speaking to us. Let us continue to speak to um, more students, a few more students here. And this gentleman, hello, what's your name, please? Good morning. Hassan Bangura is my name. Are you a government-sponsored student here at Limcon Queen University? Yes, sir. And you're back on campus in, what, in two and a half years? Yes, sir. Yes, or you've been coming um, intermittently? Not, not so, sir. So since your, your sponsorship was halted um, two and a half years ago, you have not been on campus? Oh, absolutely, sir. Um, even though today it is my happiest day of returning back to campus, um, we really appreciate what the government has done for us. Even though along the line it has been um, a delay process, but we don't know the circumstances that led to the delay. But today we are really happy as students for us to be back, um, for us to continue our studies again. We really appreciate for this one again. Imagine you, you were to pay... The, the, the tuition fees for yourself or by yourself, would you have been able to continue? Um, absolutely. That is the greatest problem that we are facing now and the greatest challenges that we have in mind. Even though the government started it for us and which we believe this one uh, government is a continuity. When they stop uh, paying our tuition fees, we find it very challenging and very difficult for us to find ways and means for us to pay our tuition fees. But now we really appreciate for them. And they go to their drawing board, they deem it necessary. They say, yes, these are our kids, these are our children, for us huh, to pay for them back. And we really appreciate for this one. Because if they really left this one for us as uh, students, and um, our people don't have this money for, us, for them to pay for us. But now, since the government have taken up the mantle of leadership again and the, man, uh, the responsibility for them to see it uh, as a point of duty, for them to see the needful or the important, for them to pay for us again, we really appreciate it and we do appreciate the government for what they have done for us. And we really appreciate for we as a student for us to return back to campus again because we have been waiting along the bench. We have been sitting for quite a number of time. And some of us, even our hopes, have been dashed out. But today we thank God. We really appreciate the, uh, God Almighty that started it for us and we really know that he is going to continue to do it for us. And we continue to urge this government for us, uh, for them to see uh, the need 
for them to continue to pay for us because uh, as they are saying government is continuity since the the, the the past government which is the APC government see this as an opportunity and as a golden opportunity for them to pay for us and let this government since um let me say again this one I'm afraid we have to hold it there because um, time is not on our side let us go to the administrative wing of this um, university we are going to be speaking to one of the administrative staff and um, we need some clarifications because the negotiations that have led to this reopening of um, the university reopening in the sense that um, um, it's over a thousand government sponsored students returning to campus for them it's a reopening even though the university has been operating for a little while but let me speak to um, Esther Marie Sacco, Esther Marie Sacco um, while we um, go to the administration you, you see the beam, the beaming smiles on so, some of the faces of these students. Is it a glimmer of hope? Yeah, it feels so good because you can see the students trying to interact with themselves because they have not been seeing themselves for, some, for a long time now. And now they are here on campus. You can see they are so happy to meet themselves and also resume classes today. All right. Um, some of them are still going for verification. Some have completed. A good number of them have traveled out of the country for pursue, to pursue um, some other ex excellent academic courses, some on a permanent basis. Well, maybe it's the diversity um, visa they, some of them have won. Some, however, continue to make gains elsewhere. So, which is why the campus is not as jam-packed as one may expect it to be today. This 15th November 2021, the day the students are supposed to resume their classes. Um, the administrative staff are still working behind the scenes to make sure that um, these students are given all they could to continue and complete their courses. However, we cannot tell how much of them or how many of them that have gone through the verification process so far. As at Thursday, we are told over 600 of them expressed the zeal to come here and verify. As at Thursday, is it a good news for, for these students, however? You think? Yes, it is a good news, however, for them. Because they are now have the chance to come around and meet with their fellow colleagues. And this is what it looks like this morning. This is what it looks like this morning. See the students seated already. Well, some are going to get some orientation from the management of this university. Perhaps they have not been on campus for the two weeks verification slated to have taken place already, which was said to have ended on Friday, because there was a two-week verification exercise slated for these students to go through. We don't know whether that has been completed. Um, so let us speak to a few of these students, um, and we'll get to talk to one administrative staff shortly. Well, viewers, we are still here at Lincoln University. Hello, good morning. What's your name? Good morning. My name is Fatima Tatue. So what cause are you pursuing here? International business. So what things have been going on that is not good? Because individuals have different perspectives. And society tells us to be drop out. Because a friend of mine said, um, Fatma, you're not drop out now. So it really feels bad. But now that I'm on campus again, I'm really excited and I'm proud. Because I'll be completing my um, studies and I'll be out there to work for the society. Yes, viewers, we are still here. Let's talk to another student. Hello, good morning. Good morning. My What's name your name? Please? Elamatu Kamara. So what course are you pursuing? I'm pursuing broadcasting and journalism. Okay, you'll soon join us. <laughs> Very soon. So how does it feel to be back on campus? Um, it feels good because uh, after some years, two and a half years, so like when we saw the memo, I was like, wow. I, well, it was unexpected, so I, I'm very happy. I'm pleased, yes. So what would be your message to the government? Um, yeah, it has been great. I want to say to the government that um, thank you for letting us come again to resume our classes, and I hope we will finish our classes here. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What's your name, please? I am Margaret Sano. So what's causing this year? I'm pursuing um, diploma in multimedia advertising and broadcasting. Okay. So what does it mean to be back on campus? Well, it's a bit of mixed feelings. Um, I'm a bit emotional and I'm happy. So diploma, are you guys done with this case? No, we are in semester four. We have three semesters more to go. So what does it mean for you as a student on campus? Well, it's kind of fulfilling because this was my dream. And all the while I was home, I didn't thought it wise to take transfer to any other college because Lim Queen has been my dream college. And I wanted to attend a paper from here and then I can advance to wherever. So it's, a, it's like a dream come to okay. So we'll be speaking now to the um, head of registry here at Limgong University, Sandy Samuel Parker is the name. Hello, Mr. San Mr. Parker. Good morning and welcome to the SLBC's Good Morning Sierra Leone OB team live on your campus, of good course. Morning, good morning, sir. How does it feel seeing these students again in front of you? Very, very pleased, very happy, and we are very grateful to God for this return of this student. How many the of them do you have so far? We are... Still, registration is still ongoing, and we are expecting above 1,000 students. When so you say far, above 1,000, precisely how many? Above 1,000 students, okay? And then, so far, we have registered above 900 students, and registration is still ongoing. From here, I have to go on. So many of them are seated here, and they have to register today, because we schedule timetable for them. What, what does the, uh, the agreement contain between your university administration and the government for the return of these students? Very brilliant co question. Because you have seen them here, that tells you the university and government, we are now on the same page. But to dwell in that, I think I will refer you to the campus director. So you cannot tell us whether there is 50% reduction in the cost that tuition, not tuition fees Definitely, I or whether there is 10% reduction in the backlog government was supposed to have paid the university. You cannot confirm that? I am not a finance man and I will refer you to the finance man and the head of campus. So because when you talk of number as head of registry, I will assure you, you ask me about registration, I will assure you. But uh, if you talk to the head of campus uh, and then the finance man, they will tell you about that monetary issue. But what I can categorically tell you, and I'm very pleased and proud, is that you are seeing the student return. That tells you that uh, government knows that they are here and I have registered them and I have registered above 900 students. And like I told you, I'm expecting above 1,000 students. And, and um, a good number of them have completed their courses, especially the dipl diploma students. Why yeah, do they have to wait until the, the final year degree students complete their course before they graduate? Who told you? Who told, where did you get that information from? That they are telling you since they started their studies. The, 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 the we, time have diploma, we have diploma who are awaiting graduation. And mind you, this is a global university. Okay, and then their names and information, everything is compiled in the system, what we refer to as the CMS, and their information, as I speak, is now at our headquarters, and they are working on it. That has no business with government-sponsored students. Okay, so, but they all are waiting for the final year degree students so that they all graduate together. I don't know where you got that information from, that they are waiting for final year students. What I can tell you, that their own process is... We have compiled it, those who have completed, diploma who have completed their process, we have compiled it, their names and everything, their information. We are now, I am now registering the final year and then uh, a semester four student. Right. And like I said, I have done above, I have done registration above 900 students and I'm expecting above 1,000. Thank you very much, Mr. Parker, and yeah. uh, we wish you the very best in Thank all you, you do. Thank you. And the very best to all your students here. Thank you very much. Good luck to you students, and this is how we end this broadcast on the Good Morning Sierra Leone for um, the return of the Limcon Queen University students sponsored by the government, over 1,000 of them that are returning on campus for classes again today, this Monday, 15th day of November 2021. Well, we'll bring you more updates in our subsequent news broadcasts and programs on the return of these students. So for now... Thanks for your time, and we'll link you back to our studios to Sheku Sumaila and the rest of the team.